Hi and welcome back, it's Vicky here with a fun event. Today we are celebrating the new Alta New release. Lots of stamps and dies have been released and I'm showcasing today this uh, gorgeous stamp set which is called Main Squeeze. And this is actually a layering stamp set, so you get four different uh, stamps for creating one uh, lemon. But of course you don't really need to use all of them, which is exactly what I will be doing today. Now, uh, they can be lemons, of course, they can be oranges, they can be grapefruits, limes, whatever ink you decide to use, you can uh, turn it into your own custom fruit. So for this card I decided to go with lemons, so I am using the maple yellow ink pad and this actually comes from the um, pocket full of sunshine ink uh, set and I'm going to stamp a, a large and a small lemon. There are actually four layers for all these lemons that uh, you can use if you like all of them. Instead for today's card I'm only going to use one layer and I'm applying clear embossing powder on top. Now this ink doesn't dry as quickly so you do have a few seconds to apply your embossing powder and it's going to stick there nicely. The uh, outcome that I'm going to achieve is that I will end up having nice and uh, glossy lemons but you can also have uh, similar results if you just stamp with your Versamark ink and apply yellow embossing powder. And you can see here how shiny my lemons look. I'm going to repeat the same process, so I will end up having uh, a bunch of those lemons, bigger and smaller. And I'm going to use the matching dies to cut them out. And here I'm using my super cute die cutting machine, this is a mini blossom by Altenew. And I will repeat the same process until I have all my lemons cut out. Now for the background of my card I want to have something white but at the same time to have a little bit of interest so I will be using this pegboard canvas cover die and uh, I'm going to run it through my big shot and I end up with a panel full of little dots. Of course you can use this die to create a panel so that you can do your stitching but I wanted to show you that you can use this die as a really simple but really gorgeous background. Now as you can see this panel is going to completely cover up a standard card but I want to have a little bit of that yellow cardstock showing so I'm going to use my paper trimmer and I'm going to trim just the hair from all the sides. And I'm using here the Comfort Trimmer by Tim Holtz, it comes in black I believe now. I really love it, it's uh, small and handy and it fits nice on my table. Now as you can see it's slightly smaller the panel and uh, I end up having a lovely yellow border. So all I have to do now is to stick down my lemons to create my background pattern. I'm adding foam tape at the back of all my lemons so that I can pop them on my card and add some dimension and I'm going to play around, decide where everything is going to go and then I'm going to peel off the backing and just stick everything down. I'm going to use my scissors to trim off the excess and you can also use those cutout pieces to stick them on areas that uh, are not full, just like I'm doing here. Now I need to remind you that this is part of a blog hop, so make sure to visit my blog, you will find the details on the blog hop there. There is also a giveaway on my blog as well as on every blog along the hop, lots of inspiration, lots of giveaways, so make sure to join us. Now I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe at the back where you can't see the glue, They're just hiding everything behind the lemons and I'm going to stick this panel on top of my card base. Now all that's left to do is to add the sentiment and I went with uh, the one that says when life gives you lemons make lemonade and I have just a white embossed it on top of a black uh, strip of cardstock. And I'm going to finish off my card by adding some clear Nouveau Drops. This is going to end up looking yellow in the photos just because um, it uh, dries clear and it's going to pick up the color from underneath. And this is a really great finishing touch for this card since it turns those lemons into looking really fresh and real. So that was the card for today. Don't forget to join the blog hop. Visit my blog to leave me a comment so that you can enter the giveaway. You will find everything I used linked down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.